539 before Christus. Cyrus the Great chapter Babylon with his army. After that, he let every slave go and said, Everyone is equal and has the right to choose the religion he or she wants to have. Then he gave to order to write this statement down. This mess the message about the freedom of slavery and the statement from Cyrus spread really fast. For example, to India, Greece and Rome. Magna Carta is a set of laws agreed by King John of England in 1215. It was first drafted to make peace between the king and the group of barons. This document, however, divides the category of man into the aristocracy, free and unfree man. It also limits the rights of women. Today, this is referred to as human rights, which, according to the Magna Carta, were only entitled to the higher states of society. The United States Declaration of Independence, the act by Emil authors the Thomas Jefferson justifying the right of the 13 colonies of British North America to freedom and independence from the British King George III, announced on July 4, 4, 1776 in Philadelphia during the Second Continental Congress. The declaration proclaimed the right to set all acts of states, declaration of war and the conclusion of peace by the former English colonies in North America. The Declaration of Independence was the first official statement on what should be the government. In addition, it had a universal nature form, was something more than a private message sent to the UK. It was a call to all humanity. The Declaration of the Rights of Man and of the Citizen passed by France's National Constituent Assembly in August 1789. The declaration defines a single set of individual and collective rights for all men. Influenced by the doctrine of natural rights, these rights are held to be universal and valid in all times and places. According to this theory, the role of government is to recognize and security, secure these rights. By 1938, the United Nations New Human Rights Commission captured the world's attention. Under the chairmanship from President Roosevelt, the Commission set out to draft the document that became the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. It was adopted by the United Nations on 10 December 1938. The Universal Declaration of Human Rights is referred to the International Magna Carta. All rights are independence and invisible. All the, these rights are the foundation of freedom, justice and peace in the world.